Alright guys, the 79 Scarab, this will be what's going in it. We have four P315s, those are 600 RMS, we have three AGMs from Duracell, those are going to go on the back on sliders, so you can pull them out like a tray, it's not going to be one of those things where it's way down in the, the bilge, you got to climb in there to grab them during winterization, and Fosgate PM212s. These are waterproof 8 inch element ready. So these are good. These are, I believe, 100 watt RMS, and we'll be running two amplifiers, four channel a piece. They'll be the R2 500 X4s. And then for these, we'll be running the R2 1200 X1s for the whole setup. So hopefully, the boat has enough charging power to actually run the AGMs. I'm not sure if it does. If it doesn't, then, well, we'll figure that out when we get to it. Throw it down a generator or something in there, a water wheel off the side. But probably not. But we will be putting all eight of these eights inside the boat. All three of the batteries. We still got to build an aluminum tray for this. Uh, the amp rack is pretty much done. We'll get to that next. I already welded that up. It's not all that fun of a video. It takes a long time to get that stuff clean, prepped, welded, and set up in a jig to actually get it done. So you'll get to see that in a minute. And then these are going to go as the center console base. So I will build and fiberglass the boxes for these, then gel coat them, and we will mount the seats for the driver and the navigator on top of these. So Two will face the front of the boat, and two will face the stern, and that's how it'll get set up. And then you'll mount the seats and the control system on the boxes, so you have a raised seating point. But the seats will be on standard mounts, so we won't have to worry about sitting too high in the center. Yeah, I think these are going to work. These are going to work really good. A lot of the time you get a lot of complaints, oh, there's no base in my boat. Well, the only way you're going to get it is big cones, so... These right here will have a lot of bass, and then these will help amplify that. Will you hear this on the deck? Yes, but they're 15s. You're not running a single 10 or a 12, or a pair of 12s buried in the back end of the boat with no box behind them. These will have specked out boxes. They will be built correctly, and they will be set up to actually sound good, and they'll be ported. And we'll go to the box build when we start doing that. But this is the setup. Alright, so this is everything we're going to be using the whole time. We're going to use barrel style fuses on these connectors. They're going to link up in here. And that's how these are going to stay fused. We have four gauge connectors. These are all DIN rail mounted. We've got reds. We have blacks. These will delineate and separate all the speaker wires. This will go on the remote line because it is a power line and the four gauge those will get separated out with a fusible link at the battery so that it protects everything going forward of that point and these should be pretty easy access we are going to build a battery tray we did kind of build an oil injection tank bay or tray right there and what's going to happen is, is this is going to get drawer slides on the side we're going to build a frame under it in the back end over here so that all you got to do is grab hold of the handle and pull it out and that's how you'll fill these back up and service them same will happen for the batteries so we'll have three AGMs they'll all go on a tray and then those will be pull out as well with extra cable behind them and they will also get those big disconnects that you see right there. So everything is going to be easy access. This is not going to be one of those crawl into the, the bilge and try to pull it out of a corner or something in the back end of the boat. It's supposed to be easy. We're not getting any younger. And I'm not going to try to act like I am. So that's how we're going to do it. Alright, so we got... Everything all nice and situated. Cables are going to run this way, and the plug is going to be on that side. These are bolted in place. These will stay in place with the hard stops. 
cables run out and they'll run this way. Everything's gonna get loomed together on top of these. So you drill two holes this way, wrap the wire with a zip tie, and then wrap underneath that bundle through that zip tie and through this, and it keeps everything intact. What we're gonna use is those 12 pins, as I said before, and we're gonna put those Deutsch connectors on there for remote and the speakers. And then what'll happen is all of this will come out on the other end with a tail that's about four feet long and it will go to a main plug. These will have their own plug and then the speaker wires will have their own plug. None of this will get tied up tight because we still have to put the RCAs on each one of these amps. All right, amp rack is done. Everything is on it now. We have audio signal is going to be through Deutsch connectors as I don't deal with RCAs. All the RCAs are soldered to connectors. They are not generic stereo RCAs because I hate RCA cables. One, they're pieces of shit. Two, the material does not fold over very well. And three, they always come apart or they desolder or you get decent ones and they fall apart or they don't make a good connection. And I'm not trying to have 10 foot of spare cable because of length changes underneath seats or anything else. So this is what we went with. And yes, inductively, capacitively, and resistively, this wire is not going to hurt the signal. So no, it's not going to change anything. And we are running 14 gauge on everything. Wire looming is done. We have amp one and two. Oh, there we go. Labeled on Deutsch connectors for the speaker wires. So there's four speakers, there's another four speakers. If you're into RC cars or trucks, you know about LiPo battery connectors like Dean's connectors. That's what the four sub lines are going to get is Dean's connectors because these are only rated for 13 amps and I don't trust them to transfer the entire power that those 1200s can put out. So 1200, 1200, 500, 500. So four channel, four channel, single, single. And all of these will be ran on this rack. That'll get its own power, that'll get its own power. These two will share power off of this bridge right here. This is a solid six gauge. Believe me, it is plenty to run these amps. They will never pull what it takes to short out or to heat up that cord or themselves from voltage drop. So a four gauge will go in here, here, and here, and that'll run out to the same kind of battery plugs we were using on the engines. Yeah, that's it. Project complete, or at least one of them.